Welcome. In this video, we're going to show you some more tips on how to use the pen. We're going to do some curves this time. I'm going to make a new document. This new document is going to be standard size. And the first thing I'm going to do is show you that I'm going to create a curve. I'm going to turn off the uh, fill on this by clicking that little red line. And then I'm just going to create a much thicker line as I start, start here. So I'm going to tap. And this time, as you see one of my smart guys pop out, I'm going to tap and hold. And notice how that creates a curve. Right? If I tap somewhere else and hold, it comes out with a nice smooth curve off that path. That's because that particular anchor point is a curved one. Okay? It's a smooth curve point. So it has a gentle slope as it moves around. If I return to my white direct selection tool and move the handles on that path, I can change its path after the fact, just like I can change this one. One thing I can't make, though, is that a sharp corner here. So what I want to do is show you a little bit about making curves, right? But I also want to show you how to make a, a curve that comes up to a dead stop corner and then goes the other way. So let's see how we can do that. I'm going to go back to my pen tool and I'm going to tap and hold this time so that I can drag down and I'm going to start with a big curve like that. Now to then come down from that I have to change this handle to not be a seesaw right but instead, instead change it to be uh, like a V shape. So I'm going to hold down Alt and it'll switch my mouse to the Wedge Convert Anchor Point tool and I can just drag that down. And then now when I come off that point it creates that that um, W type look. Now a good way to practice with this particular thing is to use um, some, some cursive handwriting. Now, I don't know how much you know about cursive. They don't tend to teach anymore, but I'm going to just click on these and delete them. And I'm going to try and see if I can draw my name. So I'm going to tap, tap, and hold, and hold, and hold, and then come down and hold. By the way, my name is Jim, so that's what I'm going to use. And I'm going to come up here, and oh, I need to do downward for that I, so I'm going to hold down Alt, switch it around and then come down and up for an M and this is a very ugly M but we will do our best I'm going to hold down Alt, switch back up make another curve down, hold down Alt switch back up and back down and then out and there you have it. Now one of the things you have to know is that if I kept drawing, like I want to put the dot above my eye, I'd have to do something to break apart this particular pen. Because if I keep drawing, see it just keeps following me. Let me undo a couple of those. I don't want it to do that. So to break it off so that the next pen stroke I make or pen path I make is detached from this one, I'm going to press the P button and then I can tap one up here and there's my little point and maybe I'll just do a little dot downward to make it look like I drew something. Alright, see if you can draw out your name and hopefully your name is not long like one of those old Egyptian um, gods like uh, Astronastropal or Amenhotep IV or Akhenaten. Those are all difficult to draw. Anyway, have fun with that.